is he? Can we have your story, please? When I was 19, I went and did Camp America. And I ended up being put in this very lovely um, summer camp in New Jersey, but it was basically a Bible camp. Oh, gold. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I had a little camp romance with this lad who also worked there. He was American. And one night, we were down by the lake on this jetty. I really regret telling this story now, cos my mum is very supportive and likes to watch when I'm on shows. But I, I gave him a little, um, hand shandy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it was happening. And then, when he nearly arrived at his destination, <laughs> he stood up with such speed, and I've never seen it before, and I've never seen it since, but he stood up on the jetty, whipped his trainer and sock off, wow. and put the deposit into his sock. Oh, wow! <laughs> and then tied a knot in it and threw it in the lake. <laughs> This all happened in about seven seconds. It was wow. such a, it was such, no, 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 not from the beginning. To, just oh, OK. <laughs> You're good. Yes. Speedy Bible bash. No, so, just, the, just the move at the end. Yeah. Was just, he'd clearly done it before. Oh, yeah. And he threw it into the lake <laughs> and went our separate ways. And then the next morning, me and him were in charge of doing what was called a polar lake swim, where <laughs> you get up in the morning at, like, 6 o'clock and you wake up all the kids and you all run down to the lake and jump in. Wow. And we jumped in and suddenly this, like, little boy is just going... Oh, my God. I found something! I found something! <laughs> And he fishes it, and it's the sock from the night before. And he was like, Whoa! and was whizzing it round, so it was sort of car washing everyone <laughs> around. And I had to be like, Brandon, put it down. You don't know where it's been <laughs> because I knew exactly where it had been. Amazing! That is a brilliant story. I'm not story. proud. Very, I'm not very. Proud. very